Good day everyone! In today's class, me and my group mates will be discussing the accessories of the travel photographers. Can us start? Mabuhay! I'm going to talk about accessories for travel photographers. The first one is camera bags. It is used specifically designed to house and protect your camera, lenses, laptop, and all other accessories such as batteries, filters, and speed lights. The second one is tripod. A tripod is a three-legged stand designated to support a camera. Cameras are mounted to a tripod, also referred to as sticks, for stability. The third one is filters. It is used to reduce reflections, gradient filters to darken the sky, and ND filters to allow longer exposure times even during the day. It is used, for example, for the smooth display of water. The fourth one is external flash. It is a camera flash that is not built into the camera body. They can be mounted on a camera via hot shoe or remotely triggered to fire off camera. While many cameras have a built-in flash, greater power and versatility can be had by attaching an external flash. Care products. What you as a photographer should always have is a microfiber cloth. Dust, fingerprints, and moisture on your lenses quickly create unwanted effects on your photos. The next one is Remote Shutter Release. It is a remote trigger that can be connected to your camera using a cable or wirelessly to remotely release the shutter. And lastly, Reflectors. It is a photography tool used to redirect light to a subject or scene. It doesn't create light, rather it redirects light that is already there. Focus. Another crucial point for the quality of your shots is the focus. The focus point is the area of the image that is in focus and it should of course be exactly on your subject. The autofocus technology in modern cameras is usually so good that manual focusing is hardly ever necessary. Autofocus is a camera setting that makes the focusing process Easier especially for those who are starting out or want to experiment with a type of photography that requires more speed. Focus in photography is the process of making adjustment to the lens to find the maximum resolution, sharpness, and conscious of your chosen subject. You can do so either using manual focus or the autofocus system of your camera. The next one is bokeh. This is the aesthetic quality of the blur produced in out-of-focus part of an image caused by circles of confusion. Bokeh has also been defined as the way the lens renders out-of-focus points of light. Bokeh is often most visible around small background highlights such as specular reflections and light sources, which is why it is often associated with such areas. However, bokeh is not limited to highlight. Blur occurs in all regions of an image which are outside the depth of field. Image composition. Image composition is one of the most common mistakes that beginners of photography make is to place their object in the middle of the image. To make your photos look more interesting, you should go to the camera settings and activate the grid lines. This is how a photographer arranges visual elements within their frame. It is placing organization of objects within your rectangle, says the photographer Adam Long. Putting subjects or scenes inside the, that space may sound easy, yet it's anything about. It is important also because it helps drive the story behind your image and grabs your viewer's attention. It is one of the most important components of photography or any visual art for that matter and can turn an ordinary scene to something special. So the first part of the basics of photography is the exposure time or shutter speed. It indicates how long your image sensor is exposed. So 
kapag mas maraming ilaw ang available, mas maikli ang pwede exposure. O kung ang mga bagay na gumagalaw ay malabo, ito ay dahil ang exposure time ay masyadong mahaba. Kapag mas mabilis ang paggalaw ng isang bagay, mas maikli ang oras na kailangan mong expose para makakuha ka ng malinaw na image or pictures. So the next one is the aperture. The aperture allows us to control the amount of light entering the lens. So kapag binuksan ng aperture, mas maraming liwanag ang pumapasok. And conversely, kapag pinaikli ang aperture, mas kaunti ang liwanag na pumapasok sa lens. And the numerical values of the difference in aperture size is known as the F number. And kapag nagbabago ang F number, hindi lamang ang dami ng liwanag na pumapasok sa camera ang nagbabago, kundi pati na rin ang size ng area sa larawan na luminitaw na nasa focus. So kapag mas maliit ang F number, mas maliit ang lugar sa larawan na nasa focus. So kabaliktaran nito, if mas malaki ang F number, mas malaki rin ang lugar sa larawan na nasa focus. Nightscape photography involves capturing a landscape style image at night. It can include the beautiful Milky Way, a starry sky, or your favorite constellation. This is a type of astrophotography where long exposure images are taken to reveal the beautiful light of a seemingly dark sky. Star photography requires quality optics and some camera lenses are better suited for it than others. To really make your nightscape image amazing, you'll want to capture an interesting foreground too. This can be a snowy mountains, a waterfall, or forest. Wildlife photography is a genre of photography that records the life of animals in their natural settings, like in a forest or underwater. So wildlife photography often constitute the image of animals in movements or action such as eating, fighting, or in flight. It also covers various organisms including mammals, insects, plants, reptiles, rodents, and other invertebrates. Alternatively, it may also record the in-depth details of an animal's appearance or its presence within its environments. Street photography or candid photography are conducted for art or inquiry that features animated chance encounters and random incidents within public places. Although there is a difference between street and candid photography, it is usually subtle with the most street photography being candid and some candid photography being classified as street photography. Street photography does not necessitate the presence of the street or even the urban environment. Though people usually feature directly, street photography might be absent of people. It can be an object or environment where the image projects a decidedly human character or aesthetic. Landscape photography is a mesmerizing art form that allows photographers to capture the breathtaking beauty of the natural world. It is a genre that encompasses a wide range of subjects from expensive vistas of rolling mountains to the intimate details of a single flower. This report delves into the world of landscape photography, exploring its techniques, equipment, and artistic vision that drives photographers to capture the world's most stunning landscapes. Landscape photography is all about conveying the essence of a place, a moment, or a feeling through visual storytelling. It goes beyond merely documenting a scene. It aims to evoke emotions and immerse viewers in the landscape. Landscape photography is a compelling art form that invites viewers to appreciate the wonders of the natural world. Through skillful composition, a deep understanding of lighting, and a passion for storytelling, landscape photographers transports us to the heart of the nature's beauty. Whether capturing the serenity of tranquil forest or the drama of a thunderstorm over a canyon, landscape photographers play a vital role in preserving the planet's breathtaking landscapes for generations to come. Architectural photography is a captivating genre that seeks to capture the beauty, 
form and essence of structures and spaces created by human design. It is an art form that combines technical precision with creative vision to produce images that not only document architecture but also convey its aesthetic and emotional aspects. In this report, we explore the world of architectural photography, examining the techniques, equipment, and artistic considerations that shape this visual rich discipline. Whether capturing the grandeur of historic landmarks, the minimalism of modern structures, or the intimate details of interiors, architectural photography plays a crucial role in preserving and celebrating the art of architecture. Portrait photography is a versatile and captivating genre that focuses on capturing the essence, personality, and emotions of individuals or groups. It is an art form that relies on the skilled interaction between photographer and the subject to create meaningful, visually engaging, and emotionally resonant images. Portrait photography is a deeply personal and artistic endeavor that celebrates the beauty, diversity, and humanity of individuals and groups. It involves a unique collaboration between the photographer and the subject to create images that tell stories, conveys emotion, and evoke connections. Portrait photographers play a vital role in documenting and celebrating the human experience, leaving a lasting legacy through their art.